So this week I was gonna work on spray paint cans, but then a huge storm came in and my neighbor's tree fell onto my back porch. My back porch is where I usually do a majority of my spray painting and outdoor painting projects. So now that I don't have that area to work on this project, I've gotta change gears and find something new. So what I'm gonna be doing is an 11 by 14, one and a half inch thick gallery canvas. And while trying to figure out what to put on that 11 by 14 canvas, I looked across the studio and had an awesome idea. This is a painting I did in 2017, and I absolutely love this painting. I painted this after having a dream of this exact image. I dreamed of a zombie falling out of a plane with a bomb strapped to his back, and thought it was just such a wild and crazy idea to have a kamikaze zombie. But I painted it out, loved it, and I've had it here in the studio ever since. But it's clearly an older piece, it has its problems, its issues, I used inferior paint, so a lot of the paint has faded. The opacity is not very good on this paint. I've got some really big blank areas like his shirt. It's just one solid blue color. The strap for his suspenders used to be black, but now it's completely faded. So in this video, I'm gonna repaint this character and turn it into a fine art piece. Hopefully I'll save a little time on this piece since I won't have to do much sketching or drawing. The character's already done. I just wanna update him a little bit and add some detail things like the plane in the background, his clothes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of this painting, bring it into Procreate, and then add some of those details. All right, I'm satisfied with this sketch, so now I can send it over to my computer and then the printer, and then I can get started on the background for this painting. One thing that I really like to do before I send my sketch over to be printed, I'll drop the opacity to about 60 or 70%. That way when I'm transferring, I can see which lines I've traced and which ones I've missed. Unlike the original painting, I'll be using high quality paints. For this project, I'm using Golden Brand acrylic paints, which have a beautiful long lasting pigment and really vibrant colors. And to start this background, I'm gonna be doing a gradient using yellow and red. It is in this exact moment that I just realized that I'm painting this canvas completely and totally wrong. I'm supposed to be painting a landscape and this is portrait. So all of this gradient and blending that I've started doing, I'm not even done yet, is completely wrong. I'm gonna have to wait for this to dry and then paint over it and start over. So that's awesome. I mean, it's not, but what are you gonna do? Having to paint over this gradient really sucks especially since I was almost finished. My only real concern though is hoping that the yellow covers the darker colors. I finally have the background done the way it's supposed to be, but it's like 3.30 in the morning and I'm tired. So I'm gonna go to bed and then start working on it again tomorrow. After being up until 3.30 in the morning and then not going to sleep until 4 a.m., I am now going out to uh, get this tree cleaned up, I guess. So that's fun. Not really what I want to be doing today. I'd rather get back to painting, but uh, it is what it is. The tree needs to be gotten up and taken care of. So that's what I'm doing today. It has been a really long day of cutting up a tree, splitting wood and hauling everything out to the road. We're about halfway done with getting the backyard cleaned up. But after getting cleaned up and relaxing, it is now 1.30 in the morning and I am exhausted. But I still wanna get something done on this painting today, so I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this sketch onto the canvas. And then tomorrow I can try to get this completely painted and finished. After getting my transfer done, I don't have to, but I really like to use a matte medium over my transfer. It helps to protect my sketch from smudging and it makes it easier to blend my paints. I am well rested, but still sore from yesterday. So I didn't jump straight onto this painting when I got up. We went to a couple thrift stores, did a little bit of shopping. Now it's after five o'clock. So I'm definitely not gonna get this painting finished today, but I'm gonna block in all of my colors and then maybe do a little bit of detail.
While working on this painting, I can't help but reflect on how much I've grown and how much I've learned since the first time I painted this zombie. My art style has evolved so much and I use so many processes to create paintings now. When I started painting, I didn't know anything about any of the processes that I use now. I didn't know how to use graphite paper, washes. I didn't know anything about different mediums or all of their applications. When I first started painting, I would just slap paint on a canvas and either it worked or it didn't. I had no technique and no real knowledge of paint quality, layering, or any advanced methods for creating a work of art. But now I have all of those skills and I have the ability to reinvent this kamikaze zombie painting. I put about 16 hours into this canvas so far and today should be the last day that I work on this painting. All I have left is to put some details in the plane, some details on the arm and pants, outline everything and then I can varnish this canvas. What I love about this project is seeing how much I've improved as an artist. Seeing how much work that I'm putting into shading, character development, outlining and for this project specifically I love seeing an updated version of this painting. This painting is one of the very first paintings I did with an original character and it's such a strange and ridiculous art piece. At the time, I painted it to the best of my ability, but to reimagine this character and then add as much detail as I possibly can, I love how this painting has turned out. So now that this painting is finished, let's take a look at them side by side. All right guys, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, leave a comment below to let me know what you think of this painting. I wanna give a huge shout out to all of my patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing. If you wanna help contribute to the studio and get some really cool stuff while you do, go to patreon.com slash pdshawn. Also, you can check out all of my artwork, including this painting on my website, pdshawn.com, where everything's available and it ships anywhere in the US for free. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you next time.